Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to another Sinister Motives expansion playthrough. And this time we are playing Spider Man Miles Morales with his uh, pre built Justice deck against Venom on standard difficulty. Uh, I am playing these playthroughs in standalone mode, so not in the campaign mode. So you get the general idea on how the scenario works and how the decks work that come out straight out of the expansion box, so without further delay, let's get started. So we are playing against Venom this time. Uh, during the setup we put the bell tower environment on the quiet side uh, onto the game and uh, Venom starts with tough and 17 hit points. Uh, this this uh, scenario really works uh, that if we hit Venom so after uh, let's look at Venom a bit more closely so uh, Vengeance Force response after you attack and damage Venom with a card you control place one face down boost card on your identity so we get a lot of boost cards when Venom attacks us back but uh, we have the bell tower so if there are at least three time counters here per player, flip this card, interrupt when any amount of damage would be dealt to Venom by an attack. You may place that many chime counters here instead. And uh, revealing the uh, ring, ringing sign uh, side, uh, increase all damage Venom takes by one. If there are no chime counters here, flip this card. Uh, when a Venom attacks, uh, would deal any amount of damage to an identity. Remove that many chime counters from here for each chime counter removed. This way prevent one of that damage so we need to get this to the ringing side then we deal more damage and uh, also that lowers the damage dealt by venom uh, we are playing miles morales so we have the justice side and uh, of course we need to put some threat here at the start so uh, we uh, have a threshold of 10 threat here which shouldn't be a problem for the justice deck but maybe the Damage dealing part is a bit harder for uh, this Justice deck, but we'll see. Uh, forced interrupt when Venom activates against you. Uh, move each face down boost card from your identity to Venom. So if we chip down with low hitting events and uh, hits on Venom, uh, we get a bunch of uh, encounter cards as boost cards and Venom will hit us more so we need to try and make big swings to uh, mitigate those boost cards uh, we have shuffled the deck so let's draw our opening hand of six cards let's see uh, we get strength genius uh, power within ganky lee monica chang and web shooter so a bit of a build-up turn apparently coming uh, I think I'm keeping all of this. Gankily, exhaust Gankily, draw one card if you are in hero form. Choose and discard one card from your hand. Okay. So, I think I'm keeping all of this because this is a good build up uh, hand. So, uh, first off, we'll just flip to. No, we'll. We'll use the power with. I uh, know, we'll use strength to play Gang Gankeli and uh, we'll exhaust Gankeli to draw a card. Dum Dum Dungan. I think we're not playing him, so we'll flip to hero mode. We'll use him to play web shooters. So, uh, web shooters comes into play with three. Uh, web counters, then we'll use. How do we want to do this? We could actually want to play the power within, so we'll play. We'll save Monica Chang for next turn. So uh, we'll use one counter from here, play power within. 
Uh, I will attack for two, removing the tough. I'll discard this to uh, stun and deal two additional damage. And this is not an attack. It doesn't read anywhere that it's an attack, so we don't uh, get the boost card from Venom. Actually, let's back up. So instead of doing damage, I'll put two giant counters here. And that is our turn, so we're ready up. And we'll draw back up to five. We get uh, Jefferson Davis, Webshot, and Government Liaison. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat here. Uh, Venom is stunned, so we remove the stun. We get an encounter card. And it is advanced, so Venom advances one plus uh, result the discards when revealed ability. Uh, remove two chime counters from the bell tower. If the bell tower is on its white side, take one damage. Okay, so we take one damage. That is it. So a bit uh, pretty mild first turn, but that's okay. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Now we uh, need to play something impactful. We could play web shooters, a uh, web shot. And, uh, we really would have wanted to have the. Well, let's uh, use Gangeli, draw a card, discard a card. We are not playing Spider Woman or Jefferson Davis. So we'll. Discard Jefferson Davis. Okay. And uh, mm, let's see what we can do. So we let's play the government liaison for further rounds. Build up. Then uh, I'll use one from here and use. Okay, let's use Spider Woman. A web shot, and uh, we'll de we deal four damage, and we'll just put it on uh, with in play in time counter, so we don't get a boost card. Then I will uh, this will flip, so now we deal one damage extra to Venom. Then I will thwart for two here. We have Monica Chan hand for next round and uh, I think I'll actually flip to alter ego and that is that so we ready up we draw back up to six. Oh yeah and uh, we'll shuffle one spider-man card back so I'll put the web shot back into the deck with uh, Miles Morales' response Then draw back one, two, three, four, five. Field agent times two. Global logistics, young love, and swinging in. We'll add one threat to the main scheme. Venom schemes for one plus two, so three. We are at five, but that is okay. We can deal with that. We'll get an encounter card, and it is loose ends. Uh, search and encounter deck, discard file, and set a set area for the removed from the game area for a copy of your obligation, then reveal it. During that reveal, if you change to alter ego form, discard one card. Well, uh, we'll search for the obligation. Keeping secrets. And uh, you may flip to alter ego, choose, exhaust Miles Morales, remove keeping. Secrets from the game or discard Kangali and Davis or and Deficient Change on play. If either of us discard this play, discard can search, discard this obligation. Uh, or if neither of us, okay. So I'm actually exhausting to just remove this from the game. And uh, that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. I think this turn we will uh, definitely play swinging in to get uh, spider camouflage ability. So first off we'll draw a card, global logistics, 
we'll flip to hero mode. Okay, so first off, I'll use government liaison and build agents. I'll discard global logistics, one field agent. Play Monica Chang. So this cheapens Monica by one. Uh, we'll search for a surveillance team and put it into play. Then we add one uh, token on it. Shuffle our deck. It comes into play with four counters. Total. So we still have these to play something. Okay. I think we want to do this global logistics. Do we want to get a field agent in play? When shield ally would take any amount of consequential damage. Okay. I'll actually play field agent with the global logistics. Put three counters on it. And uh, then I will use the web shooter. And uh, Young Love to play Swinging In. We remove Portrait from here. Then we get the Thuff. And we confuse Venom. Then um, we can uh, use Monica Chan to uh, vote for one. We remove one from here, so we exhaust this also. And I think that is everything. Uh, yeah, so that is everything we can do. We ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Homeland Intervention, Sky Destroyer, Arak, Nopatics, and let's see. Energy Government Liaison. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the scheme. Venom attacks. I will defend. Uh, two plus zero. We don't take any damage. Encounter card for this turn is Assault. I will. We'll defend with uh, Monica Chang. No, I'll just take it with Miles. So, 2 plus putting Great Symbiote into play. Okay, well, we need to deal with that somehow. Okay, well, um, so let's see. We'll lose the tough. And that is it. So, that was that round, let's go to the next hero phase. We want to get this Sky Destroyer into play, so I'll use the energy. And... Uh, Homeland Intervention, we don't need to remove any threats right now. We cheapen it by this. Actually, we need to play the Sky Destroyer somehow. Hmm. Let me think. Can we play any shield cards? We have this one here. We can't cheapen it. So, yeah. We'll actually use the Arachnopathics. Time. 
No, let's just use the government liaison as a resource. So, um, let's see what we get. I'll just discard. Yeah, I'll, I'll discard the homeland invention, play the global logistics rather. Uh, we will use the surveillance team to one right from here. I'll play global logistics and so this to do two damage to an enemy will defeat the uh, enraged symbiote. Then, okay, so we played this. We look at the top four cards here. Uh, friends and family, we we'll put the bottom. Put that to the bottom. That to the bottom. We <laughs> put everything to the bottom. Okay. Then we have this in hand, but no resources to pay it. So, I think we'll just uh, start dealing some damage, so I will hit for two damage here because of this. And uh, won't take the consequential damage. And that is it, we are ready up. I'll keep the Ar Arachnobatics in hand, one, two, three. Four cards, defensive mechanism, web shot, boss spider, and spider man, Peter Parker. We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme. Venom attacks. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, we got one extra boost card because Monica Chan attacked and they dealt damage. So, uh, Monica will defend and uh, we'll get a boost card. So, two plus put in Red Symbiote in play and two. So, Monica is defeated. Then, uh, in Red Symbiote, will attack for two and it has guard. And, uh, do we want to? Uh, defend. Mm. Well, I'll just take the uh, two damage, and that is it. We want to attack it, so we stay up upright. Don't have any shield cards to play, so we can't. Sky Destroyer next round. So that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We want to. We probably want to get Spider-Man. Okay, so I'm using Ghost Spider. Oh no, we don't have a. Uh, we have a requirement, which is a new keyword. Uh, we need to have these resources to play this Spider-Man. So that is not happening. I'm using the Spider-Man to play defensive mechanics. And uh, uh, let's see what we can do. I'll I'll see what we get for this, so Double life. Could actually play double life. Go heal. Ready. Okay. Um, we'll discard the web shot for now. Or no. Discard the web. No, 
Devil Discord web. So uh, I'll hit for two here. I'll go to Alter Ego. I'll shuffle web shop back into the deck. Then uh, I'll use Ghost Spider to play double life. So uh, it is a strength resource for this. So we uh, change form ready. And uh, we'll uh, hit for 3 damage here. Let's get a boost card. Then uh, we will this to get a tough and confused but it's already confused so that is that so we'll use the surveillance team to remove one threat that is all we can do we're ready up and uh, draw back up to five uh, home intervention web shooter web shot and double life We'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the main scheme, Venom attacks, oh yeah we're ready, uh, so I won't defend, I'll just use the tough, so uh, we get these two cards, so uh, one boost icon, so we just remove the tough, encounter card for this turn is uh, Bitting Retort, Venom activates against you, each boost card turn the phase up during this activation, with the plus one boost icon, and uh, I will defend. So 2 plus 2, so 3, so 5, so we'll take 3 damage, so that's per turn. Actually we remove 3 from here. And uh, that is everything, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. I think we start by playing... I'll we'll use the double life to play. Web shooter. Then I will I'll use the web shooter and homeland intervention to play web shot. Uh, we'll deal 5 damage on Venom, we'll get this card, then we resolve uh, the Venom Blast, so we stun, and deal two, uh, 3 additional damage. And that is not an attack, so we don't get any bad things. We'll just keep on removing these. That is everything. We'll keep the arachnopathics in hand for next turn. Uh, we're ready up. Go back up to five. Two, three, four. Surveillance team swinging in. Um, and intervention. Field agent and arachnopathics. Looking like a crappy turn, but it is what it is. So we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Venom. Uh, tries to activate, so this is actually in front of us, so it stays in play, but uh, remove, we remove the stun, get an encounter card, it is threat or menace, uh, you may change form if you are in hero form, place two threat on the main screen, I'll stay in hero form, so we just put the threat here. We would have been in Alter Ego, we couldn't change for next round, so just add the threat. That is that round, let's go to the next round. Hmm, this round we really can try to deal some damage. I'll use Gang Lead, draw a card. Uh, which card do we want to discard? I think the Field Agent can go. So I will play uh, 
government liaison using web shooter and uh, homeland intervention I will activate this so we deal three damage then uh, hmm I really want to play the uh, Ragnobatics. So I'm using the government liaison times two. I oh know. I can only use one for one card. So we use that and swinging in to play another surveillance. No, then we don't have the resources. So. Actually, instead of this, I'll play this and cheapen it by one. I didn't use the web shooters at all. Then I'll use the web shooters to play. Uh, no, first we hit Venom 2. Phase 2. When revealed, search and counter deck and discard part for that tooth and nail, side skin and forbidden play. And same forced response ability. So tooth and nail. So, Tooth and Nail is a, uh, uh, is a side scheme with 8 threat. Response after Venom takes any amount of damage from an attack. Remove an equal amount of threat from here. Okay, so 8. Okay. And Venom has 18 hit points. So, we are getting there. Slowly. Okay. Then I'll use the government liaison to play arachnopathics to deal two damage to an enemy. If that enemy has a stun, deal three additional. If it has a confused three, three additional. So. Uh, we deal So this is an attack we get the boost card uh, Then Oh, yeah, we forgot the tokens on the other surveillance team So we deal three plus three so six damage Because we have the bell tower on the ringing side Then uh, I will use these two Move two threats from here. And yeah, we de dealt six damage, so we removed six from here. Actually, yeah, let's uh, remove six from here and use those two to get rid of the nail. That is done. And I think that is everything, so yeah, we. I uh, still have three here. So uh, I'll go to the alter ego because Venom is confused. So I'll add webshot into our deck. And uh, yeah, that is everything. So we ready up. We Draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five. We get an extra account card. Shuffle our deck. And uh, get six cards. So we get Webshot, Webshot, Agent 13, Webshot, <laughs> Arachnopathics, and Genius. So all of the Webshots. Not ideal. And we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Venom is confused. We remove the confused. And uh, we get an encounter card. So from the, from the bell 
Uh, Tolls remove two sun counters from Pell Tower. So it goes to the quiet side. If the Bezel Tower is on the quiet side, take one damage. Take one damage. That is it, and then we get an enraged into a play. So, uh, that was the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We still need to deal 6 damage, uh, 12 damage onto Venom. So, and defeat the enraged symbiote before that. So, let's see. Web show. Okay, well, I think we want to we could play uh, Agent 13. Let's see what we get with uh, Gang Kelly swinging in. Okay, and uh, Just thinking, do I want to heal? No, I'll, I'll flip. Then I will defeat Enraged Symbiote. Or no, do we want to play a shield card? We only have the agent. We have plenty of resources, let's actually. Let's play uh, Agent 13 using the uh, government. Liaison, a web shooter, and a genius. We'll use the sky destroyer to, to kill off the enraged symbiote. So we are still ready. Then um, we want to play web shot. So uh, we will use uh, web shot and swinging in. Still have one web shot and arachnopathics in hand. So uh, we deal four damage to Venom. Now I'm just thinking. I think I want to. So I used one uh, energy resource for this card. So I'll put four chime counters here. To flip this. Then I will uh, resolve the. Venom Blast, so I deal 2 damage here, which turns into 3. That is not an attack, so we don't get a boost card, and also Venom is stunned. Then, we'll play Arachnobatics. We deal 3 damage, plus 3, so 6. And uh, we'll hit for 3 damage, and that is the game. So, yeah, we got a couple more boost cards, but that is game. So, uh, we managed to defeat Venom uh, by dealing enough damage and not uh, running out of threat. So, I think this deck works pretty well against Venom. Maybe it's supporting quite a lot. So, also... Just to prove a point, we were uh, removing these, so I'm just using these. So we had one threat on the main scheme, and uh, we managed to defeat Venom. So, pretty well played game, in my opinion. The deck works pretty well straight out of the box against this villain, and hope you guys got a good. Uh, of how this scenario works and how the uh, Miles Morales justice text works. Thanks for watching and until next time.